Today, guys, on Beer Geek Nation, one of the most requested re-reviews in the history of Beer Geek Nation. This, my friends, is Lagunitas Hop Stupid, an 8% alcohol by volume IPA coming in at 102 IBUs, so really kind of pushing that IPA barrier. I reviewed this back in episode 10, so many, many years ago, um, and to this day, I still get comments on that video, emails, they asked me to look at it again. The problem is, I can't get this in my area yet, well, about two weeks from now, hitting the market so looking forward to that but I got to give a huge thanks to Christian um, out in California who went to the brewery and got this basically right off the line for me so it's super fresh it's super affordable it comes in between $3.99 and $5.99 a bottle year round you know a 22 ounce bomber IPA for that price is crazy and to me this really holds up to one of being one of the best West Coast IPAs on the market at least when I had it two years ago. So let me get this one into a glass, see if it lives up to my memory, and let you guys know how it smells, tastes, and be the final verdict on Lagunitas. Hot Stupid. All right, guys, so the aroma on the Hot Stupid. Wow, yeah. Big dankness on this one. Definitely getting that Simcoe, a little bit of peach, lots of that grapefruit, orange, citrus, pine needle. Again, classic West Coast IPA. Very little malt. There's maybe a little uh, onion or garlic or kind of a spicy kind of earthy note to this one. But yeah, again, it stands up to some of the best West Coast IPA. All right, guys, the taste on the hop stupid. Cheers. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Right at the front of the tongue, you're getting that, you know, that big West Coast hops, hop flavor, uh, bitterness, you know orange peel, pine needle, lemon, just massive citrus kind of grapefruit flavors. Middle of the mouth, very, very, very little maltiness. There's a slight kind of bready uh, graininess in there to attempt to balance out the hot bitterness, but it really doesn't do that great of a job. Big, big, big hot flavors, middle of the mouth. Again, more of that kind of dank, oniony, garlicky, spicy, earthy uh, hot characteristics playing off that grapefruit, playing off the orange notes and the, the big just kind of citrus, you know, attacks on your palate on this one. Super, super dry finish. Let's not kid anyone on that. Aftertaste, more of that grapefruit, more of that orange, maybe a little bit of lemon zest, a little like a, a lemongrass type of flavor in the aftertaste, 8%. You're not tasting that alcohol at all. It's it just, it's a crazy, super hot forward IPA, super bitter, slightly kind of, a, a decent amount of the malt backbone to help balance it out. But let's face it, this is a hop heads session beer. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Lagunitas, Hop Stupid. Again, I got to give a big thanks to Christian for hooking me up with this. 8% alcohol by volume, available year-round. Again, extremely affordable between $3.99 and about 6 bucks. Guys, I have got to give this one an A. I've said it once. I'm going to say it again. This holds up to some of the best West Coast IPAs, and this is easily as good as Pliny. And honestly, it reminds me a lot of Hetty Topper from the, from the East Coast. If you guys haven't had it, you need to try this stuff right away. And for you guys who drink it, you know, daily from the grocery store my hats off to you it's a fantastic beer and thank you for recommending it i review again i'm really you know you kind of forget about these beers that you do so long ago and i'm really glad to it's like visiting an old friend you know it hold it held up to exactly what i remember it being just super hoppy west coast traditional classic ipa slash double ipa awesome stuff i waxed poetic enough about it getting an a for me and remember folks life's too short drink amazing beers cheers